But, side note, I got some sleep, and I ate something yummy, and I am not on my period anymore. It's been a rough day or two. So I'm back with Vim and Bigger and Force. Yeah, someone made me so angry the other night, I literally didn't sleep. I was like, fuming. So let's just clear a few things up. I am not normal, right? We know this. Um, uh, if you ever see me struggling with anything or wanting anything or disgruntled about it, anything or anyone, understand that things are playing out in a way that you will not see right away. So, mark your retrograde. Things are removed from your life that no longer serve you. I had a walk through soul in my life that I thought deserved to be in my life and God made sure to remove that because, and it's funny, he wants to know why I was so concerned about him. Why is he so special to me? Because he gave me something that unblocked my third eye chakra and it freed me from this hole I've been stuck under for three years. But that was his purpose. And that's his only purpose in my life. Because I felt grateful. I energetically helped him. And that was a huge no-no. Huge fucking no. There's a reason Spirit told me from the get-go. He's like my last ex. They were like, do not fucking help him. And I ignored it. I kept getting all of these same intuitive downloads at times with ones and sevens in them where I would see one and seven in front of me about him. And I felt like he was going to die. And it was the same pain I felt in 2021. So I intercepted it because I wasn't strong enough in 2021 to save my ex, but I'm strong enough now. Yeah, God didn't like that. God didn't like that at all. I changed the course of his life. <laughs> got my ass handed to me by God so I had to undo that not all souls that walk this earth are of this earth some of them are prisoners from the way that they've been evil in their past lives and their life here is karmic they are spiritual said indentured servants so they come here and they do what they're supposed to do to open the doors for those of us trying to create change here and then they go right back to hell. You try to save them, you will be reminded why they are a prisoner. So. Now my situations are very intricate. And what you are dealing with, if you're dealing with a twin flame or soul tie, when they are walking through and you try to hold on and keep them, and they are not good for your life. They are literally being used as someone sent in to open the fucking door and keep it moving. Go and open the door for her, keep it moving. That's exactly what they're doing. If you try to hold on to them and you fall in love with them, it will be grueling the way you take your energy back as you pull your love away from them. Because your love protects and empowers them. You cannot love them. And love is an illusion. Just pull it back to you.